It's a beautiful view. Well, we're here today at Alex Nerimon's flat in London, somewhere at a secret location. He should be in his flat right now. Hello. Alex. You all right? Alex. How's it going? Double handshake. I've got a, a pointy stick in my hand. Right, have you got that in your Ready hand? to show you around. Oh, like things. a doctor. Yeah. yeah. So this is the main sort of area. Beautiful. Thanks, this, cheers. You've got your better. kitchen it, and you've got your lounge. Yeah. Food and entertainment. This is the cupboard of shame, which yeah. is um, basically where we keep all the stuff that we can't get rid of because the landlord owns the property, but we don't want it up. So there's like uh, some little, there's like a little holder thing and a black lampshade. Yeah. There's also quite a lot of alcohol. Oh, there. there is. Not been um, touched. That's whenever we order Chinese, they say if you order more than ten pounds, you get a free <laughs> bottle of wine, and we don't really drink wine, <laughs> so we've just got quite a lot of wine there. Uh, yep. So we're we getting drunk today then. Let's go to the bedroom. This is where it all happens. I <laughs> where what happens? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. I don't know. I, I do film videos in here, so work-wise, this is where it all happens. Yeah. Um, apologies that my underwear is on the rack. A bed, a record player. Uh, a dressing gown which I haven't hung up. Sorry about that again. I did know you were coming. This is nice. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, what's this? <laughs> I'm loving this. Um, <laughs> it's uh, again. This was a gift for Charlie. Yeah. That's that's usually what happens. He um, stole it. No, he, he didn't really know. Like, he didn't have anywhere to put it. So I can do this with the Beatles. So I should be able to do it. The Sons of Admirals. We that are is. as recognisable as the Beatles. Yeah. Well, mm. you don't actually look a bit like him. That is Charlie. Yep. Who is Paul? Why? You want to be Paul? I don't care. I just wondered why. Why is he Paul? Just because his hair and. Did you think he looks? Oh yeah, I should explain. These were. From... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing the. Um, these were from a Cher Lloyd parody. I've just been filming. This is Paul. Uh, Alex, you're the guitarist. Sometimes. George. No, no. Oh, no, I usually play bass actually. Yeah, it? but it don't matter. I'm just saying looks. Okay. You want the George. Yep. Ringo. No, Ringo. Tom Milson. And Ed Plant yep. is the other one. John. The most famous one. Yeah. yeah. Are you busy? Hello. Hello. Can I interrupt for a second? Hello. The room looks quite high tech. Thank you. It feels like <laughs> we just opened the door to a different world. <laughs> like Alex's socks everywhere, and then there's this massive. All the lights and everything in there. It's Charlie's section of the house. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well done. You've got a bigger room than Alex. It's got his own bathroom as well. What is this? Yeah, well, um, uh, when um, Alex came to actually, uh, like, he originally Alex came to look at the flat before we went, like, started to rent it, and um, he just really, really liked it. And the estate agent said, "Oh, well, it's pretty popular, so it will be taken at some point." So Alex just phoned and was just like, "We need to agree on this right now." So I agreed to move into this flat without ever seeing it. Hence, why I got the bigger bedroom. Um, yeah, the bargain was like a so. Yeah, bedroom. he was kind of blind. Yeah, he trusted you. It's a very serious interview, you know. Yeah, I didn't expect it. <laughs> it's like Panorama. <laughs> <laughs> you know, from talking to you earlier, you said you have a lot of problems, like with fans coming round, taking pictures. It's almost like you are like next Jade Goody. You know, you've got a lot of <laughs> press. Fo What's funny? You got a lot of press following. You know, you, your your life is being interrupted. Yeah. By, yeah, the next Jade. G I mean, there are so many, there are so many celebrities that get stalked by paparazzi. So it just made me laugh that you picked her. Essex. She's. <laughs> but you're not orange. Like, that's you not why. That's not what she's known for, though, is it? How did you get into YouTube in the first place? Because I know back then you had a moustache, and that, <laughs> was that what attracted people to your videos in the first place? Originally. Five years ago, it was it was the college look. Yeah. So I used to have uh, my mum's friend come over and cut my hair. He was a hairdresser; he wasn't just like a weird bloke. Um, he would come over and cut my hair. <laughs> to cut my hair, and as long as I didn't tell anybody. Um, no, he come over and cut my hair, and that was fine. And mum would like pay him that. And then he stopped coming over because he got a job. I was gonna, I was about to say he got a real job. Hairdressing is fine, but he got a job at a jeweler's, and so he couldn't just do door to door hairdressing anymore. Um, and that meant we had to go to a, an actual hairdresser's outside of our house, and I couldn't be bothered to do that. So for all my college years, I just let it all, yeah. just all over the face, just growing out. So I ended up with this sort of shaggy look to my whole face. Yeah. And I hadn't, and I tried to resist shaving for as long as I possibly could because I knew once I started, I, I could never stop, mm. like Pringles. Yeah. So 
Yeah, I, I resisted for as long as I could until a girl that I met off YouTube actually um, said, you know your moustache is really stupid by the way. <laughs> just casually. And like loads of YouTube commenters have told me that, but I just thought, well they're haters, whatever. I don't believe them. But when someone I cared about told me, I was like, oh, I shaved it that night. And then the next morning I just went, I shaved it off. It's never again. It come off in one clump. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wax strip. And it's just, yeah. Donated to a fancy dress show. <laughs> yeah. The question was actually about YouTube and how I got started, yeah. but we've just spent the whole yes. time talking about my face. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I just started because I was bored, which is how most people start YouTube, isn't it? I mean, at the time, there was no YouTube partnership or anything like that. So I remember the most famous YouTube person that I knew was Caitlin Hill, Hill 88. And the most that she had done out of YouTube was she got in her local paper. So when I signed up to YouTube, I had a vague awareness of, oh, maybe I could get in my local paper. And that was about it. Mm. And I've done that now. I'm frozen, can't see a path. I definitely feel the same. But I'm starting to forget your name. This must be what it's like to lose To feel your courage leaving you uh. I can't succeed Cause if we can't be together I'll miss out on my forever I'm so unprepared for this <laughs> Don't let... oh wait Okay Don't let the world turn past me I need my chance to shine I need my chance to shine Don't leave me here unending You have to make the time You have to make the time To let me go This place is quite cool Right? You've got Charlie McDonald in there <laughs> Yeah You've got you Thanks You've got playing cards You've got... You know, can I... Stay. I'd rather you didn't. I mean, there's like, there's not really any space for you, so. You sure? If you could just, yeah. Cheers. Yeah. See you later. Bye. How rude. <laughs> <laughs>